During pregnancy, some fetuses may have differences in how their urinary system develops, known as congenital malformations of the urinary tract. These differences are rare, but can happen due to random genetic changes during the first weeks of pregnancy. If your fetus has a difference in the development of the urinary tract, your doctor will monitor how their urinary system is working to ensure the kidneys stay healthy. The urinary system includes the kidneys, ureters and the bladder. As your baby grows, the kidneys start to form and the ureters develop, connecting the kidneys to the bladder. Each kidney usually has one ureter. The kidneys move to their final position in the lower back and urine begins to flow through the urinary system. Urinary tract differences may be found during routine ultrasounds or after a baby is born. In this video, we discuss ureteral duplication or duplex kidney which affects around 0.8% of children. Less than 5% of patients will have malformations that require treatment. Duplex kidney may occur when one or both kidneys have an extra ureter. The extra ureter may be completely separate or start separately, but combine to create a single tube that attaches to the bladder. Some children with duplex kidney may experience vesicoretoral reflux, which is when urine flows backward into one or both ureters and sometimes the kidney. Other urinary tract differences include an ectopic ureter, where the ureter attaches elsewhere in the urinary tract or bladder, and ureterocele, where the lower part of the ureter becomes enlarged forming a balloon-like structure inside the bladder. In many cases, these differences won't affect your child's development or long-term kidney function. These differences may also improve without treatment, but if your doctor does recommend treatment, your child's age, symptoms, type of urinary difference and their risk of kidney problems or complications will be considered. If your child's condition is not causing any problems, your doctor may suggest a watchful waiting approach, which could involve ongoing antibiotics. Regular checkups and tests, such as ultrasounds, will be arranged to carefully monitor your child's kidney function. If the condition is causing your child problems, surgery may be recommended. The type of surgery will depend on your child's individual condition, but the main aim of surgery is to improve the way your child's urinary system works. Your doctor can offer guidance, discuss treatment options and provide advice on the potential risks and outcomes associated with urinary tract differences.